All right. Um, so that happened. Uh, in the uploading process, a copyright claim popped up. Uh, I'm not irritated by it, but it does mean I've had to modify the trailer. Therefore, um, I will be picking up after the trailer. There is an edit that will be done in this video where I am cutting out the actual trailer footage itself until I go to the point where, um, basically where I start talking and uh, there's no audio from it whatsoever. I don't know if it was, it was a Warner Media copyright claim. It wasn't a strike against the channel, but they were going to monetize the video and put ads up and I'm sitting there going, okay, I like Warner Media. Um, but at the same time, I'm not affiliated with Warner Media, so therefore, it's fair. They, they that's their work. I get it, hundred percent. I, I made an oopsie. I should have modified something, but it's okay. We'll we'll work around it. I will put a link in the description to the actual video that they released to the trailer, so you can go watch it. Um. By all means, I wasn't expecting this to happen. Uh, there are there are certain things that I react to, um, and, and I think I reiterate them and comment on them. But the the, the trailer review, I, I give that. So you're gonna have to go watch the trailer on the Warner website. I'm not gonna, you know, just because I'm a small YouTuber doesn't mean I'm exempt. Um, that's on me, 100%. I take full responsibility for it, but I have cleaned up my act and fixed it. Uh, it's approximately three, just about three minutes. Basically, it's the trailer length of where I played the trailer, and I thought I had the volume low enough, but apparently I didn't. Um, anyhow, it's okay. We will get past it. Uh, sometimes you just got to do the right thing and the right thing is making an edit. So that's why I've made the edit. That's why I'm here now, uh, going into this, explaining this to you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, check out the, check out the trailer itself on the Warner website. If you haven't seen it, like I said, I will drop a link to it in the description below and thank you for watching and Thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Uh, hopefully, you in, hopefully you appreciate all this transparency that I give. Uh, I'm James, and enjoy my trailer reaction, minus a trailer. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Okay, everybody. The day that I personally have been waiting for for eight years, Eighteen years is finally here. Eighteen years I have been waiting for this day. Well, almost eighteen years. I wanted to know personally what happened after the events of the Matrix Revolutions. I know there's people who have their opinions of the Reloaded and Resolution Revolutions movies. The, the fact of how everything went down. I know that there are people that do not like those movies that say, yeah, those movies sucked. I'll say it like this. I came into the Matrix party a little bit late. Um, I didn't see the first Matrix in theaters. Thank you, Tekken Oroji. You the man, because you told me about the Matrix. And now, to be perfectly honest, the Matrix trilogy... And once this comes out, the Matrix quadrilogy will be... The Matrix trilogy is hands down my favorite trilogy of all time. I know there's people who say Back to the Future's best trilogy. Other, other people have their opinions. Me, the Matrix trilogy just decimates all. It is the one thing 
that I can watch, whether wide awake and just looking something to watch, or it's something that I can watch and just, it'll, it's like that. It's like some people use a sound machine with like rain or forest sounds or whatever. Me, I can put on any one of the Matrix films and just go straight to sleep. It it is like the most relaxing thing to me because I've seen it so many times. It is honestly, it's something I've personally been looking forward to. I mean, I'm, there were times that I felt like Thomas Anderson, like I'm searching the internet on lunch break going, you know, Matrix 4, you know, The Matrix 4, searching Google for that just to see if there was anything. So I, I've been one of those hopefuls that it would happen. Um, and, and today is the day. When, when this premiered on YouTube, I was sitting at the Waffle House and a couple minutes after it premiered, I started watching part of it and I'm like, no, 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 no. My smartphone is not doing this any justice. I've got to get home to the big monitor and I've got to watch this thing. So I'm excited to see exactly what all happens. I'm hopefully you guys are as excited as I am for it. Um, this today is going to be a big day for us because we've got this trailer reaction. I have a surprise trailer reaction I'm going to do because I didn't think I would do it, but I'm going to because why not? And then I've got to watch uh, episode five of What If? So today is a big day. And then we might even do some live streaming. Who knows? Uh, We'll see how this plays out. But today is officially Matrix Day for me. I am so happy because in December, HG Wolverine and Tekken Oroji, we're going to ride again. I've seen two of the original three with him in theaters. I mean, he's my brother. He's family. So... I'm taking a day off. We're going to go see that opening weekend. Guaranteed that will happen. And most likely, there will be there, there will be an awesome review, and hopefully I can convince him to be a part of it. <laughs> I've got a couple of months, so I'm excited. Let me quit yakking because y'all didn't come here for me yakking. Y'all came here to see my reactions and everything on The Matrix resurrections trailer let's let's go ahead and just dive right on into this deal we're sitting here this is the very beginning of it um i'm just i you, i don't know if you can see it or not but i'm so excited <laughs> oh my goodness i'm so excited thank you thank you warner brothers for putting out a trailer finally cuz good grief we've been waiting for forever <laughs> All right, let's do it. Count down. Three, two, one, and shut up, James. I- I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um, this this right here is, th- this is just what I've been waiting for. I, I mean, I-, I didn't react quite the way that I, I wanted to or, or what have you. I, I just, I- it's so much to take in that I almost want to watch it again. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna flip through it and see exactly what we got going on here. Um, I man, I just I can't even. I like I just can't. And, and there's Deja Vu Cat, which you know the only time we ever saw Deja Vu Cat in the original trilogy that I can recall, mind you, that I recall is whenever something was changed, like in the first Matrix. The Deja Vu cat showed up when the the machines or the architect when when they changed the building that um oh fudge I'm I'm mouse I was trying to think I was honestly going through the introductions when Morpheus was introducing Neo to the crew of the Nebuchadnezzar um I was like okay yeah mouse um. But when Mouse was in the building where they were all ron- going to rendezvous at when Morpheus was basically captured in the first Matrix, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the first Matrix, just, I don't even know why you're here. I really don't. Go watch, go watch the original trilogy and come back and talk to me. But Deja Vu Cat showed up there and that's when Neo first said Deja Vu because the cat appeared twice. And then 
I don't remember Deja Vu Cat showing up in Reloaded. I could be wrong, but I've got a pretty stout memory on the three movies because I've seen them so many times. But I do know that Deja Vu Cat showed up again at the end of Matrix Revolutions where Sati was laying on the ground um, after all the Smith clones were effectively destroyed thanks to uh, Deus Ex Machina. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, Neo, N Neo thinking he's crazy. That's a, a little bit different. Um, I, I, I can see why he would think he's a little crazy, but yeah, I, I just, I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean. Um, the the fact that he's talking to a psychiatrist is a little different. Um, I totally glossed over this. Okay, that... From the back, that looks like Trinity from the original Matrix with the short hair and the outfit and everything. So, I, I don't know what that's about. Um... I, there was one scene, I'm sorry, brother, listen here, the blue glasses, just, just the blue, come on guy, the blue glasses, but Neo just thinking he's crazy, that's, that's going to be something that we're, I, I'm really, I'm getting ready to nitpick this more than I want to. But I have to because Matrix fan. I know about the game, The Matrix Online. I know that uh, part of the premise of that game was the humans of Zion wanted Neo's body returned from the machines. Now, I don't know if, I don't believe that ever happened. Um, I know Morpheus from, from the information I do know. I did not play it. I Listen, this was 18 years ago. Well, probably 16 years ago. I intended to play it. At the time, I did not have the, the computer system to actually play a lot of the fancier games and everything like that. And plus, it, my mindset was, where can you go with it? I mean, honestly, where can it really go? I mean, Neo, Neo died. Now... I guess I'm thinking with the mind of a blue pill. What can I say? But I honestly didn't think that Neo could come back. For all these years, I really did not think it would happen. Um, I felt like the Wachowskis wrapped it up. They were done. Keanu Reeves was moving on and doing other things. And so I felt like that would just be something that would... It, it's almost like the ending of Star Trek Voyager, where, cool, cool. The ship made it back to Earth. Sweet. Everybody at Starfleet's happy. You know, the people on Voyager are happy. But then you have to think about the 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 quote unquote the the subplot of the show. The Maquis and the Star Creek Starfleet crews working together. What happened to the Maquis? Were they fully pardoned because they helped Voyager return? Uh did they encounter any punishment? Now, yes, I know there have been novelizations and everything like that. And for the most part, through the majority of the Star Trek community, the novelizations are not canon. You know, it's like it's almost like if it doesn't happen on screen, it's not canon. Even if it's an animated form, you know, if it's not on screen in some form, film or TV show, it is not canon. So I know the Wachowski said that Matrix Online is canon. Being as I do not know the end of it, because the Matrix Online was meant to be an MMO. Where does it really end? You know, I mean, you have a storyline, you can follow that to its logical conclusion, but where does it end? So, if anybody's ever played the Matrix Online, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what the, the skinny on that deal is. Let me know what the ending of it was. Uh, if you want to, DM me through Discord or just at me on Discord or something. You know, shoot me a message and just let me know. Um, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see how Neil and... Yeah, there they are, those blue glasses. I mean, 
I'm not saying Neil Patrick Harris can't pull off blue glasses, but Elton John, you are not. <laughs> Just putting that out there, man. Sir Elton John, you are not. So, yeah. Um, and then we have the Warner Brothers logo animated all, uh, all Matrix style, which it's kind of, you know, that's kind of where they went with it anyways. Um... Him and Trinity meeting, that's going to be something interesting. It's almost like he doesn't know what to say. Like, he knows, like, she's got that look like, you know, how do I know you? You know, she, you can almost tell, like, dude, she, you can almost tell, like, something deep down within her knows that she knows him. But, you know, she can't recall it. Um, and, and, and to see his look, you know, like, like he knows, like he almost remembers her. Like he knows who she is. Um, so that's that's really cool to see what's going on there. Um, you you can see Neo looking up at the sky. Uh, it is contemplating, I guess, existence at this point in life. Um. So, the the thing with the pills... Now, I'm wondering about the pill situation. Um, I've heard some speculation... There you are. I've heard some speculation that the pills are basically a, a form of control. Um, thinking, thinking along the lines... Now, when I heard that they were a form of control, and I actually... I don't know if I can pull it up here. I don't, I don't even know if it's in this film or not, or in this video or not, but... Uh, I do know that in the blue pill teaser, they show the bottle of blue pills that was prescribed, uh, basically Neo, Thomas Anderson. Um, <clears throat> so with the pills that are being prescribed, the name breakdown on it made plenty of sense. Um, thanks to Matrix Explained for that video, because I hadn't... I had not been on the internet to watch either the red pill or the blue pill trailer. I've been kind of like, I, I didn't even really watch his per se. I listened to it because I'm like, no, I don't want to see anything. You can explain it to me because I'm good with explanations, but do not show me. I don't want to see it. I want to wait to the trailer because I've been so excited for it. But his explanation of it makes sense. And I'm going to add to that maybe with part of the name of the prescription being, um, about eliminating viruses, maybe this pill was meant to rid Neo of the Smith virus from where Smith assimilated Neo at the end of Matrix Revolutions. That could partly be an explanation to it. Now, I don't know if that's something that, you know, people have thought about or not, but that could be part of it. Um, or it could just be straight up all the control where it's trying to keep him from remembering his life prior to and everything he's done so that that's going to be interesting to see exactly what's what's going on there and then and then we have a book title now let me see if i can do this uh hmm Oh, Alice in Wonderland. It's upside down. So it's a minute for me to read it. I do apologize. Um, I want to know why the... Here we go. Let's see if I can actually read that. No, I can't. I can't even read that, boys! I'm sorry. I can't read it. If y'all can read it, go ahead, but I can't. Um... Now, who, that looks like Priyanka Chopra. It looks like her. So, I wonder what her, what her part in this is. Is, is she the new, she's got to be the new Oracle. I'm willing to bet she is the new Oracle. Willing to bet good money. 
um, that maybe Sati was the the replacement to the Oracle. This is something that makes me very curious. Where you see, let's see if I can back it up just a touch. Okay, here we go. There, you see, old man Neo, uh, kind of like old man Logan, but old man Neo. And it's his reflection in the mirror that's old because he he's young here. So I'm wondering, this, this is something that I think would make sense in, in the, the translation of it. Neo, as we see him with the, the quote-unquote John Wick look, um, I think that Neo is going to look the way he looks to the audience for familiarization. But the old man Neo, excuse me, I think he is going to look the way he looks with the old man look as what he looks like in the Matrix. Um, the, the residual self-image is, is what Morpheus called it in the first Matrix film where he commented to Neo that uh, his hair's back and the plugs in his head and arms are gone and he started feeling through his hair and everything and he's like, yeah, they're all, you know, you can tell like, just by his body expression that, oh, okay, they are gone. So it makes me wonder if this is what the people in the Matrix see, where they see just an old man and they they think he's crazy with, like, dementia or he's senile or something. So it'll be interesting to see what, what element that is. And if it is his residual self-image, is he able to break it? Is that what this is, where he's broken the RS side of where his residual self-image is, did he change it himself? It, 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 or did he just get a glimpse of what other people see? Um, which is how he kind of has stayed hidden in the Matrix, if you will. Um, was he plugged back into the power plant? Is this the same simulation as we left off with Revolutions? Is, is this a totally separate simulation? I mean, what's... Because... There have been simulations before the one we saw in the films, and then, you know, we would we could assume logically that there will most likely either be the same simulation with a slight reboot, with a slight soft reboot, or a completely new simulation. So, what is that about? That's something that as soon as I saw it, that got my attention very quickly. Um, Yaya Abdul Mateen, I'm I'm liking him thus far. Just hearing how he speaks. <clears throat> the question I have is, okay, um, spoiler alert for the game, because um, I have done my homework, being a Matrix fan, I have done my homework. I know Morpheus died in the Matrix Online. He died trying to get Neo back. So, that being said, since he died in that game, and the Wachowski said that the Matrix Online was canon to the Matrix films, if Morpheus died in that, did the machines do to him what they did, what they've effectively basically done to Neo and Trinity? Because Trinity died as well. So to see her back, it's kind of interesting. Because um, she died piloting the Logos, crashing into what looked like that building in Machine City at the end of the Matrix Revolutions. Um, so I'm very interested to see exactly what we're looking at now going forward with Yahya Abdul Mateen. Is he playing um is he playing a completely different version of Morpheus? Basically he's Morpheus but with a different residual self image? Or is he Morpheus and Niobe's son? <clears throat> you know, I mean, because no Morpheus and Niobe, when we left off, they were together. So, is he their son, and he's just taking up his father's mantle of finding the one, or is he just a different RSI Morpheus? So, that's that's left for us to find out as far as the movie is concerned. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I do like him and, and his presentation and how he speaks to Neo and everything. Uh, it, it's very Morpheus-esque, so I, I'm kind of... I am, I, I will say this, I am on the fence. If it is supposed to be Morpheus, albeit a different RSI Morpheus, I am slightly disturbed that they didn't get Lawrence Fishburne back. 
And I will say this, if the the Oracle notwithstanding, because we know it's not unprecedented for the Oracle's residual self-image to change. Because between Reloaded and Revolutions, the actress that played the Oracle in the first Matrix and Reloaded, she passed away. So they brought in a different actress to finish out the last film. Um, With the Oracle changing her image, her shell, as it was called, it's not unreasonable to think, based off of the, the dialogue that was said in the first film, where Morpheus was explaining to Neo that there was a man in the Matrix who could change things as he saw fit. Technically, that could be Neo changing from his residual self-image from old man Neo to present-day Neo that we know. Uh, same as Yahya Abdul-Mateen. He could have... It could be a situation where he changed his entire residual self-image, Morpheus did, to look like Abdul-Mateen, but... It's one of those things where it was changed as a form of protection for him. He protected himself by changing his RSI. So he may not have been dead. Um, that being said, there we go. So th- there's your explanation for that. I hope I hope that we see Morpheus. I really do. I'm not going to say that I hope we see Agent Smith because I feel like that had a very effective conclusion. But I am curious to see who the big bad is. Because you really, I didn't see a big bad in this trailer. Now, mind you, mind you, it could be there. So we'll keep flipping along and finding out. Um, Lana Wachowski, I'm glad at least one of the Wachowskis is back for this because truthfully, eh, I'm not saying it couldn't be done, but if you did not have the direct involvement of a Wachowski, that would blow this whole movie out of the water. It would just be decimated. It, it would be... <clears throat> I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. It would be the equivalent of the Joel Schumacher Batman Forever with Tim Burton as a uh, advisor. I'm sorry. Joel Schumacher... I, I know he gets the flack because... But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I would have given my eye teeth to see Tim Burton do the third Batman film, along with Michael Keaton. That would have been, that would have been awesome. Uh, a Jamie Foxx Robin, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I just don't know. I, I really felt like Chris O'Donnell fit that part perfectly. But we're dogleggin' again. Um. So yeah, as far as as far as that goes. Yeah, it's something to where I'm glad that we have at least one of the two Wachowskis involved. It would have been awesome to see both involved in it. Um, I know that they've had some... I- I- I'm going to say questionable films um, post-Matrix, but, you know, I- I'm really... they got. I- I'm glad to see that-, that Lana got back to her roots and... She's back with The Matrix, which is a franchise that, that she and her sister, they, they cultivated this franchise. This is their baby. They wrote this. This is their ball of wax. So I'm really, really hopeful for it because we do have one of the Wachowskis involved. Um, here we have the White Rabbit. Um, a, a nice throwback to the first Matrix film. There are plenty of throwbacks to the first film, which is perfect because it's been almost 20 years since we've since we've seen a movie from the matrix so yeah you've given us some nostalgia stuff actually believe it or not this right here is well let's see 99 and then that's 20 21 22 it's been 22 years since the original matrix film so that being said, this is a nice nostalgic throwback to the old school, to the, to the all the fans that that have followed the Matrix or loved the Matrix like I do. Um, I'm forgetting her name off the top of my head, but the blue hair is a nice touch. I'm I'm digging the blue hair. But when she tells Neo to follow her, now this white light 
is indicative of when Neo went to the source to meet the architect. So the question is, the question is, when we get in here, when they come through the mirror, is this, with, with Neo meeting Trinity, is this the architect showing him? Or is this another form of the, like, the construct that, that we're going to have? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to see the architect or not. I mean, I know that when you go through a door of white light, yeah, it's usually like you're going to see the architect. Um, this right here, dude looks like Morpheus. I ain't trying to be funny. <laughs> dude looking like Morpheus straight up. Uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, very much. I'm excited for this. And I'm really hopeful that I'm hopeful that it is Morpheus in name only. I'm really hopeful it's Morpheus. I mean, granted, Yaya Abdul Mateen's gonna have some huge shoes to fill because Lawrence Fishburne is Yeah, I mean, yes, and it's been twenty years since the first Matrix, but still. Lawrence Fishburne's still the man. Um the the fight between the two is the, the fight between the two is just insane, and to see Neo go all Kali Ma and just you know punch dude, I mean that right there. I I'm thinking that's got to be the construct, or it's possibly in the Matrix. But I'm feeling like it's the construct just because of the way it degrades by the way Neo just force pushes him. I mean this is. I'm getting jacked up for this. Christmas ain't going to get here quick enough. I like Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. So for this movie to come out on the 22nd, I am so happy for it. This Christmas. Christmas, baby. And, and here's a new look um, at Machine City. The the fields, apparently, the where the pods are. So I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to see. Now, here, here's something interesting. Is this, is this Zion or is this, where is this? You know, is this in the real world? Is this Zion or is this in the Matrix? I'm feeling like this is the real world. So, and then you have Neo and Trinity on a rooftop. Very, very reminiscent of Neo and Morpheus on the rooftop in the first Matrix when they did the jump program. Um, I, I'm kind of excited to see what we got going on here um looks like a pod really could be so yeah i'm very much i'm i'm getting excited for this i don't want to ooh okay so who is is his face purposely blurred okay so we have a an agent what yeah we got an agent right here so I'm wondering, is he going to be like a new Smith? I'm wondering. I mean, did he, did Smith, did, did the, because Smith infected everybody. So did Smith infect this agent and then the, the quote unquote um, antivirus protocol didn't work quite so well and part of the Smith virus still lives in this agent? Um, that could be interesting. So I'm really, I'm really curious to see, is that the same, is that the same agent that we just saw? Because I don't know. Let me see if I can, let's see if we play it. No, we can't, it doesn't clear up at all. He is fuzzy. And then, but he's got Neo at gunpoint. So, I mean, to be sure, Neo ain't going to die. To be sure, man, if, I ain't even going to say it. I'm, I'm going to say it. If they kill Keanu off in this film, no joke, I'm going to dump the whole theater over, just flip it on its roof. I'm just going to throw it out there right now. Ugh. I'll get up and I'll be walked out and I'm going to be mad as hell. Like, y'all can eat me. I ain't got time for that. So ho hopefully that does not happen because if it does happen, I'm gonna be so 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 irritated. Um, 
a train. A fight scene on a train. Um, uh, don't know who that is. Hold up, that scene <laughs> straight up looking like Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh man and then we got neo fighting someone is that that looks like trinity connected to something that's exactly who that looks like she looks like trinity connected to i, I don't know if it's connected in the new ship by the way the name of the new ship even though i don't know that we've seen it the new hovercraft is the monosomy um I really hope I pronounced that right. It's not as easy as Nebuchadnezzar. Um, so, yeah, there we go. There's Trin. Now, this right here, I'm curious to know what's going on with this. Because is... I mean, what is the whole purpose of this? Is this her... Is this Trinity with powers as well? Are we going to have powers out of Trinity now? I... I, I honestly don't know. I mean, I'm just as perplexed as you guys are. Um, of course, that right there, very reminiscent of the the bullet scenes in The Matrix and The Matrix Reloaded where the agents were shooting at Neo and he did his hand up like this, talking about, you know, not today. And then the same thing in Reloaded where he was in fighting the army of the Merovingian and the Merovingian's like, okay, you got some skill. So we're we're gonna have to see where that leads us. Um, what I don't understand what that's about. That's a little bit different. Okay, hold up. What do we got here? Uh huh. Motorcycle action. That's possibly Trinity, if I'm not mistaken. I I still don't know what that is. We'd have to play that. I think. Let's see. Let's just see what it does. Oh, okay. It's just a door opening. Yeah, that's that hallway scene is gonna be that hallway scene is gonna be pretty cool. Um, then this right here, this is very reminiscent of the scene where Trinity jumped out the window. I mean, just the angle and everything. Um, the one thing I'm not seeing as much of, which I don't know if it was a filming tactic on this film or if it's just because of the trailer. But it doesn't have a green hue like the other ones did. Like in in the first three movies, when they were in the Matrix, there was like a, a green tint to everything. But then when they were in the real world, quote unquote, like on the Nebuchadnezzar or in Zion, there was like a bluish hue. So I, I wonder if if that hasn't been put in yet and this is just one of the this is just a trailer we're seeing without that effect. Or if this is being done a little bit differently, or if they're utilizing a yellow more because of you know when Neo when Neo was assimilated by Smith in front of Deus Ex Machina, it went to a yellow glow code, kind of like when Neo first saw Seraph in the re in Reloaded. Seraph's code was gold, so is this more of a golden code hue that we're seeing, or? Or what? So I don't know. I mean, it's a nitpicky thing that's not a deal breaker for the movie. Um, I do notice some greens, but they're not as intense as in the previous films. And then you notice some blues, which is it, it, it's kind of confusing. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know where what that's meant to mean, or if it's meant to mean anything. And then, of course, you get explosions, which good action movies have explosions. Um, so, you know, there's Neo and Trinity on a rooftop. Apparently they're, Neo looks like he's deflecting the missiles. <laughs> I do apologize. Sorry for that. <clears throat> um, and not COVID and you can't get it through the computer anyway. So there you go. Um, but yeah, we got Neo and Trinity running, holding hands. Um, but are they going to fly together? Is Trinity going to be the one flying? Um, now, I know there was a scene. Well, not a scene, but I know there was a uh, like a video that was leaked like a minute ago. 
like a hot minute ago of Trinity and Neo jumping off of a building and Trinity was they were attached to a zip wire and whatnot but Trinity was the one flying well I don't was it zip wire or was it crane? But anyhow, they were attached to something. And when when they flew out, they flew out and Neo started to fall and Trinity reaches down and catches him and grabs him by the hand and then they fly straight up with Trinity flying. So I'm almost wondering if there's going to be a difference in things. I don't know. So we'll have to see where that leads us to. Um, Neo looking like all the serious. I mean, he's got that look. He honestly got that look like you killed my dog. Now I'm here for your son. I mean. So we'll we'll have to see where the arc takes Neo. I'm I'm really hopeful for this. I don't know who this guy's supposed to be. Um, is it supposed to be? Metacortex, or is he supposed to be a new architect? Is he the Merovingian? I mean, who is he supposed to be? We're gonna have to see. I, I mean, I'm I'm very hopeful for it. I'm very excited for it. Um, the Matrix Resurrections. So yeah, I mean, there we go. I'm very much excited for it. Let's. Come on, December. I'm waiting. I'm so ready. All right. Look, thank you guys for watching. Nothing but love. Please don't forget, like, share, subscribe, follow. Uh, leave a comment down below if, if you have thoughts uh, on the trailer. Are you excited? Tell me if you're excited for this movie. I really want to know. Put it down there. If you don't believe me, Go and look at comments from my ATS live stream I did Tuesday. Go look at comments from Shang-Chi. You comment, I'll either thumb it up or reply to it or both. I will acknowledge your comments. So please go do those things. I am James and XG Wolverine. I, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day. And I'll catch you next time.